Today I'm going to show you how to create pop art in Photoshop. This is a simple effect and you see it on flyers, uh, posters, album covers, you see it everywhere. The first thing you want to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. You want to turn up both of the sliders so that the image is more contrasted. By working with adjustment layers you're not destroying the original image and you can always go back and change what you did. So the brightness and contrast is going to help for our next step, layer, new adjustment layer, threshold, to give a more clean looking stamp. And adjust the slider so that you can see the basic facial features better. Just make sure you can see the mouth, the nose, the eyes. You want it to look clean. That's going to help you do less work when it comes to this next step. Make a new layer, layer, new layer, or Command Shift N and select the lasso tool making sure it's on add to selection mode and circle all the little dots do as many as you need I'm even going to take out a big chunk of these of the hair once you've circled all the spots right click on your selection and choose fill and we're going to fill with black. That's going to give you a more handmade looking effect. Go through as many times as you want and fix all the little details. I'm going to fix the eyebrow here because that's an important detail. That's what's going to make your final product look better. And if you want you can even go through and fill all the little black spots with white. But since my image is kind of worked well, I'm just going to crop it out to the area that I want. And if you notice, she's looking kind of crooked right now. So if you just rotate your canvas right there, your crop there, and hit enter, Photoshop will straighten it out for you. So now you have a clean looking stamp and you're ready to add some color. And you don't have to use realistic looking skin tones. You can use any color you want. So make a layer, new layer, or use the layer shortcut. Make sure you put your blending mode on multiply. What multiply is going to do is going to let us paint over all the white like it's transparent while keeping the black the same. Pick a bright color and hit OK. So grab your paintbrush, pick a nice color. I picked uh, bright cyan. And just start painting in your foreground. Don't worry about uh, going over the lines because the black is just going to show through no matter what as long as your layer is on multiply. And just start painting in the foreground. Don't worry about going over the black areas because the black is always going to show through if your layer is on multiply. Just make sure not to drag your brush into your background at all. And if you need, go ahead and redo it or erase with the eraser tool. Now, we're going to do the same thing for the background. Pick the color you want for the background. I'm going to go and use a orange color, an orangish yellow. Hit OK and make a new layer. So layer new layer make sure you set it on multiply again and paint the outside just make sure you don't interfere with the stuff you painted before because then you get this muddy looking effect as I was painting I had the idea to do a split background so I went and changed my color to yellow and started painting the other half yellow so half orange half yellow And I couldn't really get a clean line with the brush, no matter how much I tried. So I went and grabbed my rectangular marquee tool right there. And I selected half the picture, went to detract from selection, subtract from selection, and subtracted out the blue parts, and then went and filled it in and got a clean edge.
and you're pretty much done at this point. If you want, you can add a border or do whatever you like to it. I'm just going to crop mine a little bit more closely to center it. And there's your final product. If you want my PSD, it's in the description box below. Uh, tell me what you think, show me your results, and give me your ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks.